Um, but it reeked. It reeked. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So, oh gosh, yesterday or maybe a couple days, I don't know when I'm posting this, but I watched A Star Is Born and it was amazing. What can I say? I love Goo Goo. She is amazing. Or Lady Gaga as you guys like to call her. Um, it was such a great film and one thing that I just can't get over is the cast. It was such an eclectic group of people that came together to make this film. We know that it's Bradley Cooper's first directorial film. It is Lady Gaga's first starring role in a motion picture, a major motion one. And honestly, short but sweet, it was bomb. It was really great. There were some really funny moments. There were some really sad moments. Uh, I drank tissues. There's a couple moments where I may have cried, but whatever. Um, but it reeked. It reeked of Oscar. It reeked of the Grammys. It's going to win so many awards. I know it will. It, it has to. It was so well done. But there was one part of the film that really got to me. And it had nothing to do with the movie itself, but the casting. Um, two people that were in it that really, I, I couldn't even believe it, was RuPaul's Drag Race stars, Shangela and Willem. And the reason why that was my favorite, and it really kind of made me emotional at one point, was because Bradley Cooper gave these two female impersonators, like a lot of people think, gave these two drag stars such a platform. Um, Shangela has been on, I think, three seasons and almost won All-Stars, but she was gypped. She was, it was gypped for her. She should have won, but Trixie Mattel won over her, and whatever, that's not what this is about. Um, but, but she, it gives the mainstream, um, a little insight into the drag culture. There was a scene where Willem puts boobs on, like, a face fake breastplate and the crowd was laughing and I mean they're not laughing at her they were laughing at the point like they, they just didn't understand like it was just it was so great I really really liked it I love that those two were in it they've both done acting jobs before uh, Willem said in her opening credits that uh, the season she was on season four she's been dead on every major network because she starred in so or like didn't she's been dead on every major network because she was on shows like uh, Law and Order, NCSI, stuff like that so she's played a corpse a lot more as a boy but whatever she was also most of you would know Willem if you watch Nip Tuck she actually had a big role on that show so I just could not believe it. I thought it was great. The movie itself was fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. I did not have high hopes for Lady Gaga's acting. I thought she was kind of flat in American Horror Story. Uh, and maybe that's what it called for. I don't know. But this film, she was awesome. She was, let's just look at her one more time. I fucking love this woman. I love her so, so much. So maybe a lot of people might think that I'm biased to this, but I'm not. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Guys, pause. This is the last time you are going to hear me like this. And I just realized my camera. Okay, so I got a... I'm so excited. I got a tripod and I got a microphone. So let me plug that in. Alright guys, so this is the new sound for my channel. I am so excited. Ugh, don't I sound great? I hope I sound great. I hope it's working. Uh, uh... Whatever. Okay, anyways, let's just hope it is. So I cannot believe this film. It was so good. Bradley Cooper, holy crap. He played Jackson Maine. Uh, Lady Gaga was Allie. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, she played Allie. She was amazing. But Jackson Maine was a very troubled soul. The way his, his dialect, the way he spoke, he, he has 
problems of his own. I mean, you've probably seen uh, the trailer and stuff like that. I'm just, whatever, spoiler alert, he's an alcoholic. And the story of alcoholism and mental health is actually quite apparent in this film. It was so good and it is so worth the money. I would watch it for hours. It was, you know what? There's only been two movies that I've seen in theater where I was not, when does it end? When does it end? And that was A Star Is Born and The King's Men, the first one. What can you say about Lady Gaga in this film? She killed it. She's definitely gonna get an Oscar nomination. They're definitely gonna get Grammy nominations. It's just impossible not to. Um, I think opening weekend they made 43 million, which is respectable. It's not crazy, but it doesn't have to be. I don't give a shit if this thing comes out and nobody watched it. I knew I was gonna love it. Um, but when I watched it, I actually was surprised with how much I loved it. Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga slayed, and I only think she slayed because of the chemistry that she had with Bradley Cooper. Um, I honestly don't really have much more to say about that. I think you should watch it. I think you should, you know what you should do? Okay, you should go into it with like a really open mind. Don't look at her as a pop star, look at her as an actress. Look at her as an introduction. You don't know her because honestly, if if you do that, you're really gonna fucking love it. Gaga's been in a bunch of stuff and critics are gonna say what they want and people are gonna say what they want about her, but she fucking killed it. Um, short and sweet, just like me. Well, I'm not too short. I'm 5'11", but that's none of your damn business. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. I still have like lines from like the, like, no tan, I have a tan. It's October and I still have tan lines. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribing, why not? That's interesting. Uh, all of my social media will be linked below. I love this bitch, I love her to death. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and my little rant on how much I fucking love her. And just go to this movie, go to it with an open mind and you are going to be treated with a great fucking time. Two hours and 10 minutes is a little long for a film, but like I said, I, I could have watched a five hour film with her. She's huge, she has some great songs. Oh my God, the songs and the album are absolutely fantastic. One thing you need to know is there's a lot of talking on the album, but that's all you need to know. God damn it! I can't wait for her next film. I can't wait. Apparently there's a rumor that she's going to be starring on Broadway's um, resurgent of Funny Girl, starring Rosie O'Donnell and Lady Gaga. If she is, that's a lot. She's going to be traveling from New York to Las Vegas to do her show and to do Broadway. Something tells me it's just a rumor. Lady Gaga, if you are seeing this, which Hey girl, oh my god, you're watching me. You're not. Take a break, take some time. You got some shit. Like, if you are doing this funny girl, which I, I kinda hope you're not because now I gotta go to New York and watch it, but you need to take a break. Take some time, go fucking do something, but take some time for yourself and I fucking love you. I love you, I love you. And Bradley Cooper, thank you so much for putting Gaga, Willem, and Shangela in this because honestly, you fucking rock. This movie was so fucking good. You killed it. Two thumbs up, says Bradley and Ebert, and I'll see you at the Oscars. Bye, guys. Remember, guys, if you want to see my videos and get notified about them, you have to subscribe and you gotta hit the bell or you won't know.